down here, let's see what's going to happen. I'm sorry to bring it up, I think you finished 12th, didn't you? We did, yes. And now you're in the race and very nearly winning it. Um, why this terrific change? Well, I think uh, generally it's a better all-round performance. Uh, our batsmen have done the stuff when necessary. The fielding certainly has been uh, much, much better. We've caught catches this year where we put a hell of a, lo a lot on the carpet last year. Put some wonderful ones up at Old Trafford. Uh, but of course I think it's the uh, strength of the bowling by the return of Bob and... Well we've got the three smiling faces here, perhaps I might have a talk with them. I yeah. think that'd be a very good idea. Right, well now first of all, Bob Appleyard. Well, Bob, it's wonderful to see you back after the two years absence and if I may say so, I think it's been a wonderful inspiration to hundreds and thousands of people. Well now, uh, first of all, I think the first question, have you noticed any change since you've come back into the game? Is the standard any better? No, it seems very difficult to get batsmen out, as always, but uh, I don't think the standards changed a great deal. It hasn't. What about the wickets now? The wickets, well, it's been a very wet season. Mm -hmm. uh, surprisingly, it hasn't helped spin bowlers a great deal, mm -hmm. apart from the last match. Uh, seamers seem to be heading the averages more than the spinner, yes. which is rather strange for such a wet year. Uh, but on the whole, I think... Apart from the, the weather, the scene has been quite successful, especially for Yorkshire. <laughs> right, well now, especially for Yorkshire, like the face of Johnny Wardle. Performance of yours up at Old Trafford. That was your best, was it? Nine for 25? It's my best ever, yes. Um, you say that the weather has suited you personally? It suits us, yes, definitely. You, you, this you, season. you do prefer soft wickets. Some people have said that you prefer bowling on a hard wicket. Oh, well, you read all sorts of trap in the newspaper. <laughs> 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 I like to see the ball turn, mm -hmm. and if it lifts well, then we get 9 for 25 now and again. Good. You don't think you'll do that here today? I doubt it very much. <laughs> <laughs> and another thing which gives a great deal of pleasure, you're batting, John. Have you been practising that especially, or not? Yes, I've been practising that for about 15 years. <laughs> <and I'm> st <laughs> <laughs> Still no better. Uh, Fred Truman. Uh, Fred, would you say yourself that you're bowling faster this year than you have? I don't know. Um, people say I'm bowling quicker, they simply know more about it than me. I don't know, I just run up and the only ambition I've got every time I run up is either knock the stumps out or get the batsman out somehow. Am I wrong though, when I've watched you, you always seem to bowl a bit faster after lunch now, is there anything in there? Well, I've heard a lot of people say that it's maybe by about lunchtime I might have woken up, you see. <laughs> you loosen up a little bit, do you? No, I should say waken up. You waken up? Yeah. <laughs> and one other thing they always say about you, let's check up if it's true, you hate all batsmen, is that so? Well, that, uh, it's something that uh, people have got uh, wrong. To say to hate a person, it isn't to mean it. He may be your best friend off the field, but on the, on the field, you're playing against him, and therefore it's no use playing half-hearted. You must get in and get him out as soon get as possible. But it's just uh, while he's on the field. Just while he's on the field, you've got to get into him. Yeah. 